the whole thing with Call of the Night just didn't sit well with me because it was like they were trying to make it out like we were into the show because of the fact that it's spicy. You know, that that ended up pissing me off because it was like, you know, when it, when it comes to this, like, I don't know. I mean, it's possible that a show may actually show women in some skimpy clothing and, and yet still be completely underwhelming as far as catering to, you know, horny horn dog types and everything. And it's like, if I were a, a true horn dog type, Call of the Night would just not be a pickup. It would be a fucking pass. Because, like, it it doesn't matter, ultimately, that this show has women in, you know, you know the main character in skimpy clothing when you're not attracted to, you know, her form or you know, her figure at all. You know, the only thing you do is that you think she's got a nice face, and that's about it. That's all she has going for her. I mean, it, it just it ends up being a bit of a joke, and they're like, "Oh, like it's the male gaze that's getting them into it," and it's like, "Oh no, no." With this show, I'm just underwhelmed. But with with you know, Nazuna as, as it is, you know, as as far as that, you know, experience and the whole thing, it's just non-existent. I'm not I'm not getting turned on by her, so like. This show, like, if I'm, if I, if I find any, like, any redeeming qualities to, you know, the, the storyline itself, it's not, like, on the basis of, oh, wow, I want to bang this chick, like, that, no, nope, sorry, there's none of that type of feeling going on there, <laughs> you know, I, it, it, like, genuinely, like, it, it, it's kind of, I'm, I'm kind of having this experience where I think that it might be interesting to see if Ko actually falls for her. And that's really all that's going on. Like, you know, I, I, I hate, I hate that I have to come out there and say this sort of thing because, you know, it, it makes me look a little bit bad that I'm like pointing out that her boobs are horribly misshapen. But, you know, the thing is that I'm only doing it because I'm trying to say like I'm interested in this show, but I'm not interested in it because of the fact that I'm into the way the girl looks. You know, and it, it it just it bothers me. Okay, like a lot of things just don't sit well because you know it, it. There's always these critiques where somebody's coming in and they're being like, "It's the male gaze. It's the male gaze. It's the male gaze." And it's like, you know, this this critique comes up a lot. It comes up over and over and over again, and it's where people go all the time. And it's it's like whenever there's whenever you see like anime and girls in skimpy clothing together that's what they go for and it's like this show doesn't turn me on like so it has to ride entirely on the basis of whether i i find the romantic story you know and the the interactions between the characters you like any fun to watch at all with uh, the complete removal of any sexual you know, spark of interest at all, you know? And and yet it's like, this is what they're going to go for in their critique of it. And they're going to like, like, so that it, it kind of comes across as if anybody's watching this show, they must be watching it because they find it spicy. 